What is up guys and gals, how's it going? It's I, your boy One Eye Crow, and I'm back for another video. Do apologize right off the bat. I know it's been a while since I've been on here. It's been about three to four weeks now. Um, there's no excuses, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I just been in my head a lot. Usually, I am game and ready to upload and do streams like crazy from the months of September, October, November, December, and January. But then when we start hitting the spring to March time, I just went to March time. Don't know what it said. When we start hitting the spring to summertime. I start to get in these kind of seasonal depression mood. Um, I don't know if anybody else uh, goes through those motions like I do. Um, and like I said, it's not an excuse. I'm, I do apologize, guys. I mean, it is what it is, and I'm, I'm really trying to push forward. I even slow down over on Twitch a little bit on my streams. But on the good note, I believe Siege Monday is back. Um, we have been doing Siege, well not Siege Monday, we've been playing Siege every single freaking Monday. For the past few months over on Twitch, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, twitch.tv slash when I crow underscore. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Siege Mondays are back. So make sure to go check that out if you want to see some more Siege gameplay and have some fun with the crew. Other than that, I am going to be trying to go to go ahead and move forward with other video games during other days of the week. I'm not gonna kill myself. Like I said, I'm really trying to take care of my mental health, guys and gals, and then Kind of push on and see where this takes me i really want this to become something that that sets my future for me and my kids and all i currently don't work i am um disabled at the moment but my wife she works a part-time job um and i have three amazing children but we try well, i mean we're not we're not struggling in life we are right where we need to be and we're blessed but uh i do want to make this a full-time thing um, but I know I have to start out small and work my way up. So with the more opportunity I get doing my streams and all and, and being a content creator, uh, maybe the doors will open and give me more opportunities to do this full time and be able to get paid and be able to so, you know supply things that I need to upgrade content and more. Um, as you can see, first step, got my own dedicated space now where I'm gonna be bringing YouTube videos and my live streams are gonna be here in this room. Um, maybe I'll do a setup video soon i'm not sure um also i will be bringing more montages of gameplay videos here on youtube if you would like to see any more gameplay videos other than just montages please let me know in the comment section below um because right now i only have plans on doing montage videos and a lot of unboxing videos maybe some update videos maybe some one-on-one -on -one personal talking you know conversations um life hasn't been so bad i can honestly say that uh I'm good, you know, I'm happy with my life. I don't know, how are you guys? Please let me know. Um, I, if, you keep, if you keep seeing me look down, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do two things. Like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to bring you content at the same time. I'm trying to get a PlayStation 5 and it's so hard to get. So uh, if you guys know of any easier ways for me to grab a PlayStation 5, please let me know in the comment section below. But uh, my awesome, awesome good friend, Carlos, also the godfather of my children, sent me a freaking amazing, or well, two amazing big boxes full of nerdy goodness. I'm talking about some big hauls of some statues and more. So I'm gonna go over a few of my favorite things and then maybe talk about a few things that were thrown in there. But I won't be showing every single thing. But um, we're moving forward, new year. Um, I'm trying to fight this, this uh, mental feeling at times of just not wanting to do anything and being discouraged. So just please guys leave some well some good well wishes down below some good vibes down below in the comment section I read them and it does help me and inspire me So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this huge haul or the things in that huge haul that I want to share with you guys Okay guys and gals so one of the first things that he got me was this awesome or sent me was this awesome God of War Kratos poster as you see here There you go awesome freaking poster and then he got me or he brought he sent me saw some small joker poster harley quinn got the into the spider verse with miles morales leading the pack miles morales is one of my favorite spider-man by the way 
and then you have this awesome like holographic Batman poster, thick one. I did have a frame on it, I took it off the frame because the frame was kind of beat up. Um, but it's all good. And then let's go ahead and get into a couple of the more good stuff. There's a whole bunch of other stuff he got me, but um, I didn't keep it um, for myself. I actually gave it to my kids because I thought they would like them more. And uh, he even thought about them as well when he was sending them. So they got to keep those things. So let's go ahead and look at some other awesome stuff. I forgot to also mention that uh, he did send me this Metal Gear Revengeance. That's a Raiden or Raiden. I don't know how you guys say it, his sword from Metal Gear. So uh, I think that was cool. Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance right there. One of my favorite characters in the series. Of course, Metal Gear Rising isn't a series, but I'm just saying the series of Metal Gear. So uh, now let's get into the goodies. All right, guys and gals. So for the first awesome goodie was uh, Kratos himself. Awesome freaking statue it's like a mini statue almost like a it kind of reminds me of a paperweight in a sense but it definitely is one of those collectible figures slash statues whatever you would like to call it he looks amazing Let's take a look at the, uh, the base I do apologize for some of the dust. Let's take him off of the turntable there real quick. So that I can dust it off, you know, off camera. And let's also just leave him right here in the middle for a second. You can see him a bit better here. And there you got his face. Oh, my focus is giving me issue. Come on. Stop messing around. Holy crap, okay. Well, this thing doesn't want to focus for me. Which is uh, pretty stupid, if you ask me. So, I'll focus in myself. There we go. It's better than before. There you got Kratos, you got his tattoo or body paint or whatever you want to call it going all over his body. You got the designs in his uh, skirt there. I like it, you got the chains and the swords. Everything about this, this piece is amazing. Like, I absolutely love, love this uh, statue slash figure slash collectible whatever you guys call them so then he sent me another version of this same exact statue and we're going to go ahead and show you that one so now we have the bronze version of kratos same exact statue he just doesn't have the uh you don't see the paint job of the uh red line going across him like you did with the first one same skirt same designs in the skirt same chains around the wrist same swords, same base. Everything about him is the same except for that red mark going across his body. Let's put them next to each other real quick. And there you have both Kratos and Kratos there together. And you got Kylo Ren in the background there just being a creeper. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the bigger, more exciting piece that I'm happy about that he sent me. And uh definitely DC related so let's check it out oh mama is this the bigger piece that I'm happy about I had to pull back the cam a bit because it's just it's more uh, more massive statue compared to Kratos if you can see right here we'll put Kratos next to him both Kratos is yeah yeah you see the difference this one sits at about maybe 12 inches so uh, it's pretty cool maybe a little lower 11 well, let's give him a little turnaround. He does have a cloth cape with some wiring to shape it out.
And this, of course, is the Ben Affleck version. And you can see his face. You see those glossy eyes. I just love the way that looks. See that? Those uh, those lips. Kind of looks like he has a clinched thing going on there, like he's just pissed and ready to fight. And you got the logo, the belt, the utility belt, going down to his boots and his gauntlets. Everything about this piece is freaking amazing. I love it. It's all about you can see the excuse me, guys. You can see the wrinkles in his suit like there's motion there and then he sits on top of a base that has the batman versus superman logo in the movie has a bit of a bronze color in certain parts and then you got the rest of the like steel <clears throat> concrete look to it you got the boots with the tips that are different colors there everything about the statue is amazing i love the statue you see the shape and everything within the cowl itself this happens to be one of my favorites, and there's a story on behind this one. <clears throat> I purchased him quite a few years back, and I mean quite a few years back. It was probably 2014, 2014, 2015, um, because I used to live in Athens. Now we live somewhere different, and so I would say it's about 2014, 2015. But um, <clears throat> this statue is an incredible piece. And I purchased this statue um, from GameStop, brand new. And we had some struggles at the time, like everyone has, and I had to sell them. And my friend Carlos came over to visit and celebrate his birthday with, with me, because our birthdays were around the same time. So we had fun, and he liked this statue like very much, and he wanted to buy it. So I told him to go ahead and purchase the statue. So he went ahead and purchased it. He liked it and he wanted to buy it, so I sold it to him. And then now, years later, we are back with him being with me once again. Um, my friend Carlos is on to bigger, better things in his life. He's accomplished so much. He is now moving and he wanted to go ahead and give him to someone who he knows who can be responsible and can take care of stuff. And he thought about me, so he asked me if, uh, if I wanted a few things that he was gonna give away. And I said, heck yeah, man, give me whatever you want. I will gladly accept it and take care of them. And this is one of the prized possessions that he returned. And I freaking love him. He told me to take care of him. And believe me, I am. I'm going to take care of everything he sent me. Now, uh, this one goes along with the rest of my collection. And I'll show you how he looks right now in that collection. All right, guys and gals. So this is the collection my little Batman collection here that I got going for me that Michael Keaton one in the back and then of course to top it off you got the Ben Affleck Batman got a couple more down here got Joker Catwoman and Harley and on this side I have a flash, I got some dorps that he sent me as well, and I have a bank bus. He also went ahead and sent me this hat, which is freaking amazing. He sent me a few comics as well that I put in my comic box that's right down here on the bottom full of comics. Um, and that's about it. All right, guys and gals, that's pretty much the video I have for today. I'm sorry, as you can tell, it's gotten kind of uh, later in the day. This literally took me all day to film. I went ahead and started filming this in the morning. Um, uh, kind of took a break to try to grab two PS5s for me and a friend. Got those PS5s thanks thanks to my friend who was able to uh, cover me in the meantime till I can send him the money. So thank you so much. You know who you are. So uh, we got PS5s. We're gonna be getting them before the end of this month. Thank God for that. And uh, then I finally was able to sit down and continue filming this video hours later. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's rough and all over the place. This is my return. I know it's not the biggest, greatest video as a return, but things will get better. I'm trying to figure things out in placements and uh, the camera and stuff that I want to do. I'm thinking about getting an overhead cam type situation here so I can kind of film what's underneath the desk rather than just holding my phone. It's kind of tiring. 
But um, but yeah, guys and guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you want to look at some live gameplay, go over to twitch.tv slash when I grow underscore for some fun, family-friendly gaming. And uh, I always roll with the same crew. We always have a good time. And we're going to be switching up games here pretty soon, especially with the PS5. We're going to be having some fun with some different games other than just Siege. But every Monday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Siege Mondays has returned. Anyways, guys and gals, remember, you are all amazing. You are all beautiful. You are all freaking gorgeous. Don't ever let anyone make you feel like you are less because you are worth so much. And if no one's ever told you that they love you lately, let me be the first one here on this video to say, I love you. That's right. I love you. And please believe that you have so much worth in this world. And even if no one sees it, I'm here. I see it. Head over to my Instagram page. Head over to my Twitch, Facebook. Hit me up with a you know message. DM me. We can talk. We can talk about how your day's been. We can talk about your collection. You know, you, you feel free to send me photos of your collection so I can go ahead and share it here on YouTube. Uh, you can send photos of your setup, gaming setup. You can send photos of your collection that you have building with statues, uh, Funko Pop figures, doors, whatever you want to do. Send them my way so that way I can go ahead and present them here on YouTube so people can see the wonderful collection of many awesome, wonderful people out there. Anyways, I love you all. Remember, if you play any games from the Epic Game Store over on PC or you're a Fortnite player, remember to use the code when I crow, when I crow, the heck, when I crow, all capital letters, for just the ability to show support for what I do. And I really appreciate everyone that wants to show support. And if you're looking for awesome, comfortable gaming chairs, check out Techni Sport Gaming Chair, technisportusa.com, and use the code when I crawl capital letters to 10% off. And if you're in the market for some healthier alternative uh, health, uh, health drinks, energy drinks, and you don't want that crash and burn effect from all the ones that just offer negative stuff, make sure to check out Rogue Energy and use the code when I crawl capital letters for 10% off at that on that as well. And if you're looking into customizing controllers, that's a lot to say. Uh, customizing controllers, make sure, to, make sure to check out Cinch Gaming and use the code when I crawl capital letters for 5% off on that. I feel like I'm all over the place today and I'm sorry, I am. I am so distracted. I have my kids that I've been taking care of and doing stuff with, um, searching and hunting for these PS5s, trying to do the first part of this video, second part of this video. I got video editing to do um, from Twitch uh, game clips that I have and I got so much. So I just want to tell you guys I love you all and I hope every one of you have a fantastic day, fantastic night, fantastic morning, wherever you are. On to the next video, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Peace.